everyone. Happy Monday. Okay. Uh, our Go ahead, Peter. Thank you, and congratulations, and not to embarrass you, you got married. I did, yes. Well, congratulations, welcome back. Thank All you, right. thank you, Jen. Um, why was President Biden the only world leader at the Climate Summit Zoom who was wearing a mask? Uh, because he is sending a message to the world that he is putting in place precautions uh, and continuing to do that as leader of the United States. And I don't know what setups they all had in their countries, that may warrant some more reporting or not, uh, but obviously he had a pool there for portions. There were additional staff there, additional personnel, and uh, that's uh, the sort of model that we uh, try to keep ourselves to here. But I know the CDC's website and their guidance is that you can gather indoors with fully vaccinated people without wearing a mask or staying six feet apart. That's so. actually for in your private home, uh, so it's not workplace guidance, and we still wear masks around here, just like you are all wearing masks, and we wear masks in our offices and continue to abide by that until that guidance changes. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>Good afternoon, this beautiful afternoon. Starting today, if you're fully vaccinated and you're outdoors, you need, and not in a big crowd, you no longer need to wear a mask. As much as the temptation is to stay outdoors in this beautiful day, I've got more work to do. Thank you all very, very much. Bye -bye. And if the risk is so low outdoors, why doesn't it apply to everybody? I, uh, one at a time. If the risk is so low outdoors, why doesn't this new guidance apply to everybody? You chose to wear a mask as you walked out here. What message were you sending by wearing a mask outside alone? By watching me take it off and not put it back on until I get inside. I'm sorry, I'm going to, just the last question I'll take, and I, I'm really going to be in trouble. When we were in a bind at the very beginning, India helped us. Thank you. How do you convince those still hesitant? Thanks, Mr. President.